Welcome to another Tribes of Sin preview. Today we're going to look at an update we call a look Tartarus. Look at the camera. It's, uh, look at the camera. It includes new maps. Look at the camera. Over here. The camera. Yeah. Yeah, right there. No, was that so hard? <sighs> okay, I guess we'll start by looking at some maps. Tartarus. It's a new CTF map. It has large landscape features, similar to maps like Katabatic and Dry Dock. With the new CTF map, we wanted to do something different, a new unique art set that's unlike what we had done before in a sense. As we went through the concepting process, we kept coming back to wanting to do something more natural something with no permanent man-made structures and de-emphasizing the man-made elements in favor of a much more organic look. What we came up with was Tartarus. Uh, the name Tartarus actually refers to the ship that has crashed in the middle of the map. This ship has been there for well over a thousand years and it has ancient secrets that both Diamond Sword and Blood Eagle are very interested in getting their hands on. Tartarus shares a lot of the same dimensions and elevations as Katabatic, one of our more popular maps and we're really looking for players to tap into that same game experience as they play it. A brand new arena map, Hinterlands, features a lush center island, surrounded by a moat of deadly acid. Hinterlands is an arena map that takes place in a really fantastical mm. setting. You'll notice the plant life in this map is bioluminescent, so you'll get orange, green, and pink flowers lending themselves to the coloring and variation of the map. One of the things that sets this map apart from the other arena maps are the lack of inventory stations. Um, that was a purposeful design just to make it a little bit more challenging when running around and fighting your opponents. Another thing that makes this map different is the circular terrain border. So you'll see a lot of these square designs on many of the other maps like walled in. Hinterlands instead has a more circular, out of bounds territory. Another new feature is loadouts. Loadouts allow you to easily swap between different play styles. You can find loadouts under the Modify Classes menu. Let's take a look at a couple of saved loadouts for the Juggernaut. You can see here four custom slots. And I'll save a configuration of weapons and perks that match an offensive play style. I can then save it under a name of my choosing so I can easily reference it later. After saving heavy offense, I may want to unlock a second custom loadout. And I can do so with gold or experience points. For my second loadout, I'll swap to a light machine gun instead of the spin fuser, and also reconfigure other weapons. When I'm good with the configuration of weapons and perks, I can save this as heavy on flag and play a more defensive style. I now have my two custom loadouts available for quick switching in game. Let's take a look at how that works. I'll hop into target practice. Classes and loadouts are quick selected by using the number pad. So first you hit the number for your class and then the number for, for your loadout. In this way I can quickly switch between classes and between saved loadouts. In a normal game, choosing a loadout will make it your next pending class upon respawn. We've also added quite a few community requested changes. First of all, explosive impulse on falling flags, which is also known as punting, has been reduced. Here's a shot of punting before the change. And here you can take a look at punting after the change.
In addition to the punting change, we reduced the in-game price of credits for all vehicles. Of course, on custom servers, you can still configure this to whatever price you want. Finally, based on popular demand, even password-protected custom servers will now reward XP as long as the player count is in excess of eight players. Thanks for watching, guys. We uh, do take all your feedback very seriously, and we look forward to playing with you online. One more thing. Super Heavy now makes splat noises. <laughs>